Kind of feels like the sun's starting to go down already. It's not a good sign. Oh, uh, I was waiting for that. Uh, luckily caught myself. Oh, that's soupy. A little more ice and snow than I expected today. Now that the Eagle Mountain Ranch is bike park, just past the Townhill Park, and I'm on my way up to the top to cross over. Some more of the cross country runs on the back side of the mountain. I just ran into a couple of the bikers, and they said the back side's not too bad. So it should have a lot more sun on it. Okay, we'll see when we get over there. Just made it up to Ridge Line, started the trails. Whew. This is gonna be my first time riding in non dry conditions, and I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but definitely worth giving it a shot. This looks awfully soupy. Yep, sinking a little bit. Awesome oh, dry dirt. That's a pretty soupy climb. Mainly just out here, do a little cross training for skiing. Get my legs working for this weekend. Testing out the Hero 7 Black today. The first time on my mountain bike see how hyper smooth works everything's shot in 2.7k 60 super view with hyper smooth on hoping for the best I came up over the top. I almost turned around and went home. The front side was such a mess. It's all ice covered and like soup. It's hard to even walk in, let alone ride on. But back here's pretty nice so far. Besides making my lungs burn already. And I'm only like a mile and a half in. I think I'm gonna do about 13 to 15 today. See how my legs feel and how the trails look. It's really beautiful out here. Snow-capped mountains all around. Wide open trails. There's only one other vehicle out here that looked like they were riding. So I think they just went back down. Pretty sure I'm out here by myself today. Which is kind of fun and a little nerve-wracking when it's slick like this. Oh, slick. Ugh, almost. Should have stayed on. I probably could have cleared it. Oh, I probably shouldn't do this. I have no idea how these cross mark tires work in the mud. They're slinging crap everywhere. Oh man, it's muddier than I expected. I'm gonna be a mess when I get home. I have to hose all my clothes off in the driveway. See plenty of people have been out here. Lots of tracks. Uh, back onto some drier double track. Mainly just taking some footage out here today to test the GoPro. I want to see how much better it looks compared to the Hero 5 that I've recorded with out here before. Conditions aren't good enough to really be doing anything fun. So more just a fitness workout and a camera check today. Got to make a mandatory pit stop at the campground up here. Check out Tim from the rest of the Wasatch Range. It's so beautiful over here. Oh, I love this view. You 
Utah is so beautiful. Good check for the stabilization through some rocks. Slow speed. Whoa! <laughs> that was almost not good. Hopefully that's nice and buttery smooth. I was very impressed with the Hero 7 when I used it skiing. And I'm hoping for at least the same results on the mountain bike. I've seen lots of mountain bike YouTubers test out the Euro 7 and all rave about it. So, hoping for similar results, if not better. Oh my gosh, it's sliding everywhere. Oh. Clean out those tires. So far, I'm pretty happy with the Crossmark tires. I've been riding in some soup. They don't clear the best, but they've been getting me through everything. Just like that, I hadn't been on my bike in about a week and a half. And when I got out to it, oh man. Oh. When I got out to it today, the tires were leaking sealant all over the place. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess you can see that. That's a mess. Gotta clear that. Well, it's so muddy today that I just spent 10 minutes keep getting my chain to stay on because the entire chain was full of mud and wouldn't hook onto this narrow wide Eagle chain ring. So I got it all cleared off. Looks like it's running smooth again. I'm gonna try to get back out there. Hopefully this doesn't happen too often. So I'd like to get done sometime today. The tires do surprisingly well in the snow and ice though. Going up anyway. Not sure about going down. Glad I have the front mud guard, the enduro guard on here. I'd be not having a fun time right now without it. I'd be getting sprayed in the face with mud the whole time doing a nice job. I had to clear it out once, but I'll live with that. A little bit of speed through here finally. Not for very long. Making the climb up to the top of Deadwood. Frozen ground's good. Everything else is mud, like a soup. Should be to the kind of flowy section of Deadwood. This will be a good test of the Hero 7 Black Edition with Hyper Smooth because I can't keep anything steady in all this mud. More Deadwood. Get up it. I do think as soon as I can get out of here, I'm going to. But at least a few miles away. I was really hoping to get away without running a chain guide. But I don't think that's going to be possible if I'm going to ride in the mud. Because this chain does not want to stay on at all. Let's see if I can get this to clear. My gloves are going to need to go in the laundry. Oh, back in business. Definitely don't have to do that too many more times. So I am going to try to get my way out of here. But I got a few miles to go and what looks to be some pretty wet road ahead. Kind of feels like the sun's starting to go down already. It's not a good sign. Oh, f uh, uh, I was waiting for that. Uh, luckily, caught myself. Oh, that's soupy. Chain's gone again. Well, I gotta say, it's kind of fun on the snow. It's more stable than I thought it would be. Sure, I could slide out at any second. Now that I say that.
Whoa, that's slick. Oh, making some progress. Feeling good. Probably getting to ride a little bit. Spraying mud everywhere. Oh man, don't go, Chain. Hang on. Put yourself. to the end of this section of the trail and the other side looks like it's been in the sun for quite a while looks much drier so keep my fingers crossed looking forward to doing a little at least some uphill since the downhill over here was less than expected now this isn't bad oh clear off chain Bouncing again. Oh boy. Glad I brought the GoPro today. Lindsay wouldn't believe that I was riding on this. I kind of can't either. This is my first season mountain biking. And this is totally new for me. But it's fun. Got a dirt bike. Super glad to be done with that. Oh, that looks wet. Got to get across that somehow. I think I might walk this. Be a good test. Of, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sliding off the side of the hill. Good test of walking with the Hero 7. Check out its stability. Not doing anything to try to walk smooth. Just pushing the bike. Upside down once again. Hopefully that's the last time. It's pretty dry over here. Chain ring's running good. Drive train's pretty dirty. Should be able to hold up to this. Last time I ride in muddy conditions. Until I get a chain guide. All right, this is looking better. Got some sunshine on me, warming up my fingers, drying out the trail, and shift. Chain isn't falling off again yet. Hoping I can get out of here soon. Isn't temp just awesome out in the distance? All snow covered, looking beautiful. Sometime I want to do a backcountry ski tour up to the top. Curious to see how the audio picks up on this chest mount. If it works good, halfway tempted to use it skiing. Currently using my backpack mount, but it gets a little more shake on the backpack arms. And I know the chest mount would be smoother. Oh uh, yeah, forgot about this part. Let's see if I can get this. I think you go high, and then straight up. Oh, so close. Uh, I had it. Got my front tire hooked up. Almost saved it. Finally made it over the crest of the ridge on Treadstone. Now I gotta figure out the easiest way home. I think I got about two miles maybe before I hit the road and can follow the road all the way back to my car. Off we go. I don't think this is a full downhill, but First section I've been able to ride in a while without pedaling. Well, so far so good. But we're about to dip in the shadows. I could change everything in a heartbeat. Uh 
Oh, oh, there we go. Thought I lost my chain. Oh boy. Wet berms. Probably not a good mix. There's a really good section of trail I'm gonna have to skip today. Much more technical, lots of downhill, but it's totally, I saw it on the way in, snow covered, awful looking, and based on what I've done out here, I'm not getting anywhere near it. I've only ridden this part of the trail once, maybe twice. It's definitely got some cool little features, like this little tabletop, and it's got some sections that are much more raw not so carved in have things like this little rock drop here definitely not doing today oh boy oh this could be ugly Well, today's turning into half riding, half hike a bike. Oh, finally back in civilization. And I know where I am. Feels good to get the bike a little cleaned off. I need to take it through the car wash. It's bad. Unfortunately, I lost my glasses. I left them on the trail. I have to pick up another pair. Thankfully, they're just the little cheap 3M safety glasses. So I can pick them up at Home Depot for nine bucks. Oh, I can see the car. 